Okay guys, welcome to a short video on cleaning this thing. This is a device I'm using, the Dell Precision T3500. It's a, it's a cool computer, it doesn't create any kind of problems, it's a decent when we talk about power. Uh, the only problem with this thing is the stock, uh, stock Dell's power supply. So I was in need to change the stock power supply to TX. Uh, 650M by Corsair. So this will get the job done. My definite advice is to change the stock into this one. Anyway, that's not the point. I'm cleaning this thing and advice is of course to remove everything. Uh, uh, this is a uh, protection for memory. Remove it before cleaning. There is a sc uh, three screws here <coughs> that will hold doors for, uh, for hard drive. Sorry. <coughs> something is, is in my mouth. Uh, this is a 250 gigabytes, nothing special hard drive. And you need uh, to have a couple of tools. The most important is this one long screw because to remove, to remove the propellers, coolers, and they are very, very big and strong, uh, you must have a reach to, let me show that whoops to this thing right here okay <clears throat> let me zoom that so there is a screws here and uh, you need to have a big one a long one to reach uh, from like here here inside uh, if you don't do that you cannot remove these coolers i need to clean them more but uh, that's pretty much it with compressed air or, or something they are very good very big, very massive, they get the job done. But you know, there is a lot of dirt at the moment on it. And of course, I'm gonna change the thermal pasta on a, on a this one. Uh, to remove the front panel, to remove, where is that thing? Yeah. To remove the front panel, uh, it's very easy to remove, just uh, push it up here and it will uh, be done. But to do that, there is uh, this thing right here. So you just uh, press it back and then you can lift lift the, the front panel up from here and uh, that's pretty much it. So that was just a quick note. Uh, don't try to remove this by force uh, because a lot of people doesn't know that there is that uh, hidden screw right here. So that was just a note. Uh, yeah. Uh, inside I have two weak graphic cards because I'm not playing games, so they are enough. This one is a, um, I don't know, a V3900, okay, by Ati, I think, yeah. And this one is NVIDIA NVS300. So, I think that this one is gigabyte and this is 512 megabytes or something or reverse. I don't care because I don't do gaming. So this was just a short tutorial on that, a uh, quick note, oh, I lose this one, okay, I need to return it, uh, and that's pretty much in, in uh, uh, that in this video. Uh, why I do have this power supply? Because it's enough and uh, uh, there are very long cords, and you must have long cords, long cables for this type of uh, box. So this, this one will work. And uh, be very careful when you are putting uh, putting cables from cooler back. There is uh, two of them, of course, and uh, this one is, uh, I think, first, or this one is the second. So just make a note about when you, when you are pulling them back, uh, return them like in in a normal normal order, because on a cooler there is a uh, well of them so respect the order of returning the cables to motherboard and now i need to remove this uh, cpu um, passive cooler and apply a little bit of pasta so yeah that was just a, a quick note on this type of uh, machine that is uh, good for business for gaming and stuff you definitely need a better power supply and a better graphic cards but i don't care because i'm just into casual browsing a couple of movies on youtube and uh, and programming so yeah 
dirty as hell after a couple of years of not uh, cleaning it but they are cool you know they are they are massive and yeah that's it thank you for watching and uh, see you next one ciao